Hello and welcome or welcome back to Read Becca for my big announcement of November 2022. We are back. So this is a readathon that I created by myself for myself before I was even on booktube and I have ported it over since I started my channel to basically continue on encouraging myself and others if they want to join in to read romance. So my history here is that I only started reading romance in 2019 basically to challenge my own perceptions and misconceptions of the genre and I really loved it. So I started out with some Alyssa Cole and fell into her back catalog and really have enjoyed everything I've read from her and have just been trying out and enjoying exploring a genre I really didn't know anything about and challenging my biases about the genre. So I really enjoy dabbling and trying new things and it's such a ever-expanding <laughs> genre uh, with so many subgenres and, and ways to interpret romance, um, ways that it overlaps with other genres. It's just great. So this year I decided to make a little bit shorter readathon. So last year I did a full month. I decided we're gonna schedule this for the end of the month. So we're jumping in on the 17th through the 30th of November for the November 2022 readathon. Because this is supposed to be a very casual, easygoing type of readathon and just encourage people to read romance, as long as you read a romance book between the 17th and the 30th, congrats, you won the challenge. <laughs> Good job. So as always, that's the entry level. Um, then I decided to make some, some challenges so you could participate in reading for those um, kind of prompts. And I made a romantic tic-tac-toe board. <laughs> Uh, so it's nine prompts and for each column I gave it a theme based on character tropes that exist in romance. So the first one is the rogue and that lovable rogue character is what guided me and I kind of tied that into fantasy too. So the first challenge prompt under that is going to be to read a fantasy romance. It could be any type. You could go for monster romance or a sweet fantasy romance or if you're not a huge romance reader you could go with a romantic fantasy that is more fantasy forward and just has a prominent romance to it. The second prompt under the rogue is that one of your characters should be a criminal. So you can interpret it that a lot of ways. So dark romance goes really hard into criminals all the way to the point of having serial killers as characters, for instance. Um, mafia romance is very prominent as a subgenre. You could go for that. Um, if you are looking for a more soft interpretation of that and you don't really want to get into actual criminals, I would definitely say it's a fair interpretation for things like where there's been a, a meet cute through a mistake somebody has gotten someone else's phone or a dog and that's kind of a theft. There's also so many sweet thief and uh, con man type romances that are just adorable. So there are there are definitely non criminal <laughs> interpretations you can go with there. The third prompt under the rogue is going to be a hate to love or enemies to lovers romance. So this could be something where they have to get to know each other, they just start off on the wrong foot, or it could be that their hate is a fiery passion. <laughs> so you could go a couple different ways with that. The second column is going to be the rock star. So definite bad boy vibes is what we're going for here. And the first prompt under rock star is going to be a tattoo or an instrument on the cover. So ink romances are totally a thing, so you can find lots of those that actually take place in a tattoo parlor. Uh, tattoos on nice bodies on covers are a big thing, so that's not going to be hard to find. Uh, instrument, you could totally subvert this and find something that has like a piano on the cover, for instance. Totally up to your interpretation. It doesn't have to be a literal rock star situation. The second is going to be that one of the characters is a celebrity. So there are some great romances out there with like celebrity chefs or people who are trying out for a show. <laughs> that sort of thing, totally up to your interpretation again. And the final one under the rock star is going to be simply to read a contemporary romance. So this is anything in a contemporary modern world setting. Column three is going to be the ruined. <laughs> So this is where in historical romances, very commonly, a woman will spend too much time alone with a man and be caught out and 
be ruined in society's eyes. <laughs> so it's all about the social mores of the time. So I, again, interpret this very loosely. So my first prompt here is going to be red on the cover. I was thinking of the scarlet letter. And so you could do anything from very prominent red text in the title, or you could go for the big red gown on the cover. That's very common. So loosely, loosely interpret this as you will. The second prompt is just to read a historical romance. It does not have to be a historical taking place in the Regency era where this is very common. It can be any historical period. So that is, again, up to you. And the third is forced proximity. So this is when two individuals wind up in close quarters and that sparks their romance very commonly. So usually they are not wanting to be in, in that forced proximity, <laughs> but they, they do anyway and end up having a spicy time. So that is it for the prompts. As I said, read to whatever level you are at. This is meant to be very flexible. So if you are a really casual reader, challenge yourself to just read one romance book, any romance book. If you are a little more intermediate, then try for a tic-tac-toe, either by reading one of the character trope paths I've made in the columns, or any tic-tac-toe, a three in a row, any direction. If you are more advanced, go for blacking out the board. Um, I will say you can double up on prompts. So if you read a fantasy romance with a criminal protagonist, you've knocked out two with one book. Uh, so just really try to have fun with it. And I know that this is, this is really just for my enjoyment. <laughs> I just made this for myself. So I'm gonna have a great time regardless if anybody really challenges themselves in this. Um, but I do hope that, that you do participate because I have found my love for romance through challenges like this. So that's it for November 2022 <laughs> announcement uh, running from November 17th to 30th. I really look forward to hearing what you have picked out. If you've got some good suggestions for these um, prompts, let me know down below. If you're gonna participate, tell me if you're excited. Um, so that is it. Thank you all so much for watching.